All right, uh, greetings, greetings, uh, everyone. Look, now what we are going to be dealing with now, basically we are going to be looking at our rectangular prism, right? Uh, in trying to, you know, uh, to recap in terms of what is required of us in here, right? Now, let's see. Now, firstly, they say find out what is going to be the surface area of the following rectangular prism, right? Now, firstly, what is going to be the formula for surface area of a rectangular prism? Now, uh, the formula for surface of a rectangular prism, remember, it's going to what? Uh, the surface area, it, it means all the sides, right? And how many sides does this have, right? It consists of six sides, which means uh, if this is the face side, then this other one here is going to be the second face side. And then if this uh, is also the smaller yana side, which represents three, then this is going to be the other rectangular side, which represent four. And then now, this is going to be uh, the bigger, uh, the bigger tri uh, uh, rectangle also here, which is going to be five. And this is going to be the bigger rectangle here, which is going to represent six, right? So therefore, if you want to now uh, calculate in terms of the surface area. Now, the surface area is going to be given by what? It is firstly, uh, remember that these represent your length uh, this represent your, or rather, this represent your what? Uh, this represent your breadth, and uh, this represent your what? This represent your height, uh, or rather, your length, and this represent your height. Yes. So now, what is it that you're going to do? So we are going to say now, firstly, the first one is going to be the first that to represent this one. So it's going to be two length and what? And breadth, right? Plus the other one is going to be two length and also height. Plus the other one is going to be what? two breadth and also the height isn't it so that is the total uh, uh surface area of our rectangular prism so therefore what is this going to be this is going to be same as two uh two multiplied by what is the length the length is given by what 10 multiplied by the breadth is going to be five plus what is going to be the other one the other one is going to be two which is going to be the length what is the length the length is 10 multiplied by what multiplied by two plus the other one is going to be same as the breadth is five multiplied by what plus uh multiplied by two so basically that is going to be those things and then now when you say 10 multiplied by five that is going to give you 50 uh, uh Right, then this is going to be 50 multiplied by 2, which is going to be 100. So this is same as uh, this is same as your 100 plus this is 2 multiplied by that, which is 20. 20 multiplied by this, this is going to be 40, right? Plus what is going to be this one? Uh, this 5, this is 10. 10 multiplied by 2 is 20. And then now this is going to be same as 160. What this is going to be same as 160. How to get then that is going to be the what that is going to be your total. Uh, surface area and then remember we know that the total surface area is always given by what by a centimeter squared so that is going to be the total surface area of our rectangular prism now uh what else then are we going to do and now from here on this other question they want us to find out the volume and also the surface area now let's recap again on the volume of your rectangular prism right now what is going to be the volume of your rectangular prism now, the volume of your rectangular prism is basically given by what? V volume, which is going to be length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height, right? So, therefore, what is going to be the volume here? This is going to be same as 13 multiplied by 7 multiplied by what? Multiplied by 5, right? And then now what is going to be that? Then this is going to be same as 13 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 5. Then this is going to give uh, what the volume here which is going to be four, five, five, right? This is going to be four, five, five, right? All together, this is going to be uh, your meters, what? Meters cube. And remember that the volume, it is the total space within this particular shape, right? Then now, if we are looking at our surface area, now the surface area, this one is going to be the same. We are going to still use the same formula, which is two multiplied by length, multiplied by breadth, multiplied by two, multiplied by length, multiplied by height. Also, this is plus, this is not multiplication. Then this is going to be plus two multiplied by breadth, multiplied by what? By height. Then what is going to be this one? This is going to be two multiplied by, uh, what is the length in here? So your length here is going to be same as what? This is same as uh, 13 multiplied by what? 13 multiplied by uh, what is going to be the breadth? The breadth is going to be, uh, let's say we use the seven, right? Or oh, the breadth is going to be the five, 
let's fix that. So the breadth is going to be the 5. So which means this is same as 13 multiplied by 5. Uh, this is going to be plus 2 multiplied by length is 13 multiplied by 7. Uh, this is going to be plus, what is the other one? This is same as 2, which is going to be same as what? This is going to be 7 multiplied by 5. Oh, it's okay. And now, when you are concluding on that, what is going to be your answer? Firstly, when you say 13 multiplied by uh, multiplied by 5, this is going to give you 65. 65 multiplied by 2, what is going to be your answer? It's going to be 130. So, we are having 130 plus, when you say uh, 13 now multiplied by 7. What is 13 multiplied by 7? This is 91. 91 times 2, then it's going to give you 182. Right, this is going to 182 plus. What else are you then going to have now? This is going to be same as seven multiplied by five. What is seven multiplied by five? We all know that is going to be 35. Then 35 multiplied by two is going to give us seven. Right, so this is going to be your seven. And when you are adding all of these, this is going to be seven plus uh 182 plus uh what plus 130. And the answer that you're going to get is going to be 382. This is going to be 382 uh, centimeter or rather meter cube. I would okay. So basically that is going to be your volume, right? So that is going to be the volume. So this is as far as this video is concerned. Thank you very much.